this is Julie. So I seriously was not planning on thrifting this week, but plans have changed. So my husband needs me to run an errand in a town that has two thrift stores that I've never been to. So we got to go check them out, right? And then the owner of a thrift store in town messaged me that she had some stuff for me. I'm like, oh, cool. Thank you. I'll try to make it out there on Thursday. Well, then she messaged me back and she said, we just got a bunch of stuff in and our shelves are stocked. Then she sent me pictures of the shelves. And I'm like, okay, well, I guess I will be seeing you the second y'all open on Thursday. Oh my God. Like the shelves were fully stocked. So that's tomorrow in my time. <laughs> so today we're going to go check out two thrift stores in another town. And then tomorrow I got to go get the stuff that she put on the side for me and go see what else they got, see what we can find. And then fingers crossed, the weather has been really amazing over here. So I'm really hoping there's some garage sales this weekend. Oh, y'all, I want some garage sales. I want some estate sales. I want it all <laughs> and I want it now. So we'll see how this video evolves, but I just, usually when the weather's nice, there's a garage sale. So let's just, Let's go see what we can find, all right, y'all? I was excited when I first walked in because at the top there was lots of baskets. But then on closer inspection, I realized most of them were these Thanksgiving cornucopias and there was lots of baskets that were heart-shaped. And I don't really do Valentine's Day or have a booth, so there's just no need for me to pick up heart-shaped heart -shaped stuff. That's a brass duck plate. There was lots of brass candlesticks. Their prices are really good here, I thought, and they had, their shelves were fully stocked. Like I walked around several times and every time I'd see something different. I love the shape of that picture. Like it was really tall. There would be lots of room to put like a crockery stamp or something on there. Look at this big round brass candlestick. That's cute. Lots of like little figurines, just lots of stuff everywhere. Like I said, I had to walk around several times to make sure I saw everything. They had this cool set of wooden bowls. And I think I wanted to check the price on that and I forgot to do that. So I don't remember how much it was. Look at these cute little brass salt and pepper shakers. They had this cute little basket. Look at the birds. Oh, I love those. I went back and looked at the birds because I really like the birds. Can't pass up a good bird. Okay, they had these, the set of treasure boxes and I was really hoping they were in good condition but the hinges were kinda falling off because these look so cute painted up and distressed. So if you ever come across these and they're in good condition, pick them up. This box was cute, but it was super light. Like you could tell it was cheaply made. So I passed on that. That place was pretty good for such a small place. Definitely somewhere I will stop again if I'm in the area. Now in the video, you'll probably see lots of good stuff that I passed on, but I'm just trying to be really picky and selective about what I get. Like I don't need to buy everything. I want to keep shopping and I don't want to buy so much that I'm overwhelmed and I can't go shopping because I have so much stuff to deal with. So I just want to have the experience and the fun of shopping and buying a few things that I feel like I just can't pass up or something that I don't even need to mess with that I can easily flip. So that's why I'm passing on a lot of stuff and why I'm also trying to film in the thrift store with um, with y'all. That way y'all can see like what was in there and kind of shop with me, but I don't have to buy everything. I can just show it to y'all. So let me show y'all what I got. Um, I got these two birds. They were only 50 cents. I spent $9 at this thrift store. Um, I, I was hoping that the glass came out, but it doesn't, but that's okay. I'm going to paint this whole thing gray, put some white wax, make them look cement and stick a succulent in them. And they're going to be so cute. There's two of them. <gasps> Can't pass up a cute bird. Cannot do it. And then y'all, 
I looked at this shelf like three times and did not see it. Okay, she wrapped up all my stuff in newspaper and I tried to take it out. So I wouldn't have to make all this noise. And now I can't find a darn thing. Hold on. Okay, I found it. <laughs> I tried to be prepared and this is what happened. <laughs> Y'all. Mama giraffe. Baby giraffe. Brass. <gasps> so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I mean, I'm probably going to have to keep this. Like, it's just, it's just too cute. And I just remembered... There's something else. Okay, not in that bag. We'll find it. And then this big old picture was two dollars. Probably because this flower is kind of chipped up. I already know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna throw some texture paint on this, and this is gonna be beautiful with this flower coming out. It's just gonna give it a whole more like muted look, but look absolutely stunning. Like I love the lines on this piece so yeah that's gonna look really good painted up with some paint and baking soda okay and then i got this round tablecloth it was three dollars but look at the texture and look at the fringe so i always pick up pretty much any kind of fabric tablecloth blanket whatever that's really cute and in style because when i'm doing a ladder or just staging around the house, I like to have these little throws. I'm pretty sure this is linen, which y'all know is insanely expensive right now. So I was pumped to find that. And then my husband said to, um, he wanted a big mug. Cause like those regular mugs are not big enough for this size coffee he likes to make. So I found this one, it says big daddy <laughs> and it's big. <laughs> So I'm going to give this to him. I thought that was funny. <laughs> That's for him. Oh, I found the other thing I was thinking about. So I was checking out and I saw this, y'all. It's a brass butterfly pin cushion. How cute is this? So cute. Love this. So that's everything I got from that thrift store. It was $9 for all this stuff. Now we're going to head to the other thrift store that I've also never been to. And hopefully they have good stuff there too. I didn't film a lot in here because I was the only one in here. And the lady was kind of hanging around. And I don't always feel comfortable filming. So when I can film, I do. But if I don't feel comfortable then I'm not going to. So this was a room off to the side. So I was able to film and look, I got the moment that I found this basket. I was so excited to find this basket. I already have one that I put lavender in and I was happy to score another one. They did have a good variety of stuff over here and their prices were really good. Most of the stuff wasn't even priced. She just like gave me prices at the register and her prices were great. So I just stopped at the last store and I walked in and she's like, you can shop, but we are about to close. And I'm like, oh my God, it was like literally two minutes to close. I'm like, no worries. I'm not looking at for any clothes. I just want to look at the small home decor items. But oh my God, I'm glad I hurry up and went in because look what I found. Y'all remember this from my lavender basket and my neighbor actually really wanted it. So I'm going to send her a picture and see if she wants me to make her a lavender basket. I probably already have this sold. Oh, I don't know what I paid for everything, um, each individual item because it wasn't priced that way. She just like at the register gave me prices. So I paid $8 for all this stuff. So I got that basket. I got these two little tiny candlesticks because everything's cuter when it's smaller. And I think I actually have an idea for this. I have some like old rusty mini baking thingies. I don't even know what to call it. And I think I'm gonna sat, sit it on here with a succulent or something. That'll be cute. I'm sorry y'all, it's, it's gotten hot. Started off today cold, now it's getting hot. Um, I got this cute basket. It needs, you know, the antiquing mixture on it, but that's gonna be cute. And this y'all probably already know what i'm gonna do with it it is the perfect size to paint up and put a crockery stamp on it so cute and then this one's nice and heavy too so this is totally just gonna be painted up and distressed and it's gonna look great 
and then I'm so excited about this although it is I, it's not technically missing a baby but for me it's missing a baby look at this vintage mama rabbit with do they come out oh they're stuck in there her little babies in her apron pocket is this not the cutest thing ever I'm gonna have to sell it because I have four kids and she only has three so I can't keep her <laughs> um but uh I think this like it was nothing I mean I paid nine dollars for all this stuff so so cute and then this I've had some of these before they always sell well can y'all see it it's a big two-tiered magazine rack so paint those white distress them and that just sells awesome i think i sell them for like 40 dollars. and once again i paid eight dollars for all this stuff so yeah good deals there that was exciting all right now i'm gonna head home and i will see y'all tomorrow at the next thrift store so it's the same day but i'm back home i ended up deciding to go to that thrift store you know the one that made me wait outside for 45 minutes it had been open an hour and a half so i'm like you know what let me just um in the area let's just see what's there so i went and have to wait in line it was good i cannot film in there because it's so tiny like without making an announcement like hey i'm filming a youtube video like there's no way to film i'm not at that level of comfort yet so sorry guys i just cannot film in there I did get some really good stuff. I'm not gonna tell y'all the price. I'm gonna show y'all everything. And I want y'all to think about what you think I paid for all this stuff. And then I'm gonna tell y'all how much I paid for it at the end, okay? So I got this big candlestick. Like candlestick sells so good for me. That's something people message me about to see if I have. So if I find like a good candlestick, now it has all kind of like blurredly or craziness on it I don't pick them up but a nice simple pretty candlestick with lots of pretty curves yeah that one's coming home with me and then I got these two brass candlesticks and this feels like very heavy it needs to be dusted of course but I feel like one of my customers just messaged me about some skinny black ones so I need to check my message I'm gonna send her this and if she wants them all for a good price i'll let her have them if she wants to spray paint them black she can i don't have to touch these i've just rescued them and sent them on to their new home but these are so cute if you have like a whole grouping of them adorable sorry y'all my nose is running oh look at these <laughs> little copper pots with the little oh, almost dropped it the little feetsies absolutely adorable it has some great patina to it so I'm going to not do anything to these. I'm going to sell them as are. But if they happen not to sell, they look totally great. Paint, paint, spray. <laughs> they look really good painted white and distressed. Y'all, it's, it's been a long day. Tired. All right. Um, This thing is super heavy. It's the last supper. And I do find these sell well for me. I'm probably going to paint it white. I'm even thinking about possibly doing a textured paint on it, but maybe adding more paint than baking soda. That way it's not super textured. So I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with this, but this was definitely coming home with me because these sell. I'm going to make it like a more farmhouse um, last supper print. Like, yeah, that's going to sell good. So if you can find ways to update traditional things that people really like they always sell good i picked up three books for the baby she's really into books right now especially let me see which one this one especially these ones where it has like the little thing you can lift up and look at she's very into learning so like anything simple like this with the abcs are the numbers where we can count you know count the leaves count the ducks oh she'll love this so at age two it needs to be super simple super easy books i used to get so annoyed when my oldest was younger i thought the books were way too complicated simple pictures simple 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 that's how these kids learn okay got another basket full of stuff 
I just thought this was so pretty. It has bubble glass and oh my God, just one stem sticking up through this very tall vase. I love this. So pretty. And then I got this cute little basket. Okay, the whole thing is wood. Oh, you can't even hear me knocking on it. I don't know why I'm doing that. But this whole basket is wood. So I want to take off the handles and I was thinking this would be cute attached to like a candlestick or something to make like a raised basket. Wouldn't that be cute? I hope y'all can imagine it here because I can. I'm thinking probably like a smaller candlestick. Ooh, what about a spindle? Spindle? Basket? That would be cute. Anyway, I just like that this was like really hard wood. I'm just gonna take the handle off and we're gonna turn it to some kind of raised basket. That's what I have in my head. Now, I feel like I saw somebody do this on the Facebook group page. They took these little things. Um, I think these are for tortillas, right? And you put them in the oven, which I can use. I could do that too, that would be yummy. But like you put it on top of a candlestick and then you put some floral in it and that's really cute. Let's see, I feel like maybe this is a better combination. So something like this. Isn't that adorable? And then you paint the whole thing this, uh, white and you put some greenery in it and it's super cute. So I got four of these, four of these taco, uh, what's it called taco salad thingies. And then I got this basket. So this needs to go, that's gross. Look how nice this basket is. Put some lavender or whatever. It definitely needs to antiquing wax. It's way too bright, but so cute. And then, so the last thing I got, look at this basket. Okay, forget the greenery. And then when I took it out of the car, I noticed it had like, it's full of pine cones. So don't worry about all the outdated stuff that's going straight into the trash. But look at this basket, y'all. I love this color. I feel like this is the color of 2000. 21 like I want all my clothes to be this color. I love it. You're seeing it in bedding. You're seeing it in home decor. It's so pretty. Look, look. And this sweater, this uh scarf is four years old. I'm always ahead of the trends, just so you know. I love it. So I'm actually not paying this. I'm actually thinking about putting in my girls in uh, my 10 year old's bedroom because it goes perfectly with her color scheme. So she could, this could be her new trash can because that girl got a lot of trash. And the one she has now is not cutting it. So this might be better. But I love the shape of this basket, how it's nice and tall and then has like this little sharp handle. So yeah, we're throwing this stuff away. But this basket is where it's at for 2021. So cute. So if you find some like little girl stuff, you might want to think about painting some of it up this color with some white wax that would be cute and that's it that's all that I have so what do y'all think that I spent on all this stuff one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve let's say about 15 items okay what I spent on 15 items all right I'm gonna tell y'all four dollars I spent four dollars that place is so cheap and it wasn't even a bag sale today so the last time I went it was fill a garbage bag for three dollars so that's what they do at the end of the season when they're clearing everything out so today was just a normal day and that's just how cheap this stuff is it's crazy so I'm glad I stopped by and I'm glad I didn't have to wait in line because I found some pretty good stuff I think all right guys for real this time I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow Hey guys, so it is Thursday my time and it is 12 o'clock. I am looking like a hot mess. It's been a morning. I got up, I got the kids to school and went to the gym and per usual, um, our instructor tried to kill us. I am so sore still from the beginning of the week. That's okay, right? Soreness means progress. And then I went straight to the thrift store from the gym because she's like, be there when it opens. So I got there when it opened and I saw her and I said, hey, she's like, okay, when the doors open, like you need to go through this door and go that way and that's where the good stuff is. And oh, so there was a, this is the first time I've ever been there, like when they were about to open. Y'all, there was a line of people, like a huge line of people. Not, not all of those were there to uh, shop, 
they also have a food pantry inside of the thrift store where people go and if they're in need they can get food and go like grocery shopping in the pantry so she does this is not just like a normal thrift store this thrift store has a mission and the mission stays in town which i love so like she's keeping all the funds in town and helping out people in town she does a whole bunch of stuff with you challenge she just bought them a house for these ladies to live and then she told me she was going to be developing some other stuff and some other jobs for them so we're probably going to do like a little video on this uh, thrift store it's called the purple lemon and all of the amazing stuff she does she told me she was going to do a fundraiser soon where you would donate 25 dollars and you get a 25 dollar gift card to the purple lemon genius like they're getting all this stuff for free so she needs those donations to continue her causes the food pantry the um she's really into helping with drug addiction uh, anyway we're gonna do a video on all that because this woman is amazing oh i also need to pick her brain because this is just what she does for fun okay what she originally does and still she does this she has the like original home decor store so before hobby hobby lobby and all this stuff in our area there was lancaster house where she would have her creations mass produce and then sell it wholesale and then like once a month it was open to the public and oh it was so exciting when you get to go to lancaster house i mean there'd be a line of people waiting to get in and you could go get this home decor stuff at like wholesale prices it was amazing that's her that is her. I didn't even know that. And now she's my neighbor and we become friends. So like, I need to know how she gets her products and her ideas made. So that's going to be a conversation for another day. Anyway, she's just an amazing person and we're going to do something with her. All right. So let me show y'all what I got. What y'all here for? The haul. <laughs> um, I got these Ruffle Pottery Barn curtain panels and they are 96 inches which is super exciting that's what i need i actually do not have a spot for them but four dollars for two pottery barn barn ruffle curtain panels yes these were coming home with me um yeah we're i mean at some point i feel like i'm gonna use them like if friend has a bigger room or i don't know anyway they were coming home with me pottery barn four dollars yeah oh and then check out this crock <gasps> So perfect. It was five dollars. I will totally pay five dollars for this all day long. It is absolutely perfect the way it is. I like that it has a few cracks, but not so much that it's like falling apart. So pretty. I love this. So I'm probably keeping this. I like that. And that's just a little whisk for me. My daughter threw my whisk away, like my little mini whisk, a smaller, like a little smaller one. And I need it all the time. It was a Pampered Chef one. And I looked them up and they're expensive. I'm like, I'm not paying that for a whisk. So I've been hoping that I could find one at a thrift store. And then these are from me. I got clothes and stuff in here, so I'm sorry if y'all don't like that. These Steve Madden cute little sandals. They are so comfy. They just need a magic eraser needs to be taken to them but I love this is the kind of stuff I love with this woven texture I like the basket look on my feet as well so cute so yeah I got that for me this is for my daughter your daughter plays volleyball you probably will recognize these y'all these are a hundred and twenty dollar volleyball shoes now they're half a size bigger than what she wears now but we're done with volleyball season so I'm hoping next year they will be the perfect size I paid $7.99 for them. $120 volleyball shoes. Because you know I ain't spending that. <laughs> for volleyball shoes for fifth grade. No. Okay, and this cute little basket. I paid $2 for this. I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. I feel like it has some more pieces to it because it's missing some stuff. So, I don't know. 
Oh, and then I ran into a fellow reseller in there. So we had like a fun little chit chat and shared what we were uh, buying and all. And it's funny because we were actually talking about the Julie's Designs and Signs Facebook group because she was like talking about her husband and I was talking about my husband. She's like, it's so funny because now that we have this group, it seems like everyone's husbands are the same. So we're not alone in that. <laughs> Our hoarding drives. Our husband's absolutely insane. So I got some, um, this cute little shirt. For the baby it says rule breaker totally she's totally a rule breaker and y'all she is obsessed with Minnie mouse she doesn't watch Minnie mouse but she likes wearing Minnie mouse clothes for some reason like she has this one pair of Minnie mouse pajamas that she cries when i have to change her in the morning so it comes with shorts and it comes with a pair of pants she is going to love this so much so i have to get that for her and then i got this for the teenager it is a Magellan, really nice jean jacket. It has a camel in the inside. I think I paid, I paid $7.95 for this. I feel like that is good. He's going to wear this. That's a good price for that. God, I should have like threw myself together before I got on film. Then it's out there forever. Oh, this is for me. Y'all, how cute is this sweater? It is vintage, but this is the kind of stuff that I want to wear. Like, I love the sleeve length. I love the little holes. I love the um little bit of the higher collar. And this material is amazing. I love this. Like, this is the kind of stuff I want to wear in the South when it's hot outside, but we want to wear sweaters. I love it. I wish it was in a cream color, like a more neutral color, but I'll take this peach color. It's fine. Okay. All right. So, like I said, I ran into the owner when I first went in and then she's like, come find me when you finish shopping. I have some stuff for you, right? The whole reason I went over there, is she said she had stuff for me. So we go to the back room and let's see if I can pick this up for y'all. We go to the back room. Ugh. She said they cleaned out a house and they had, she hasn't even been through this box. And she said, do you just want this whole box for $10? Like, you can go through it if you want, but like, we haven't gone through it. You can just have it for $10. I'm like, I was thinking, oh my God, do I want all this work? Because what it is, is like little pottery things. So I thought about it for a minute. I'm like, you know what? For $10, like, this will be a fun treasure hunt. So yes, I will take it. So I got this entire box of stuff of little tiny potteries so we're gonna go through it <laughs> i'm gonna watch the clock and we're gonna do it for about five minutes and see where we get then i'm gonna stop because like i don't want the whole video of me going through this little thing of pottery but this should be fun okay let's do it let me i have shorts on it don't matter it is cold over here but it don't matter how cold it is um i do not go to the gym and anything else but sharks because she tries to kill us. Okay. And I can't be hot. I can't be hot while I'm working out. This is cute. I love this. Some of these I might not even have to paint. Like this one's perfect the way it is. So if you want some little tiny pottery, I am your dealer. This is first annual gumbo fest. For sure if it has something written on it, I'm going to have to paint it. This ain't my jam. But look at the shape of it. Adorable. Paint these up. Put one little bud in it. Perfect. Oh, this one's cute. I like these little sideways ones. Ever since uh, she gave me that haul stuff, I just love these little sideways ones. Oh, this pink one's cute. I could probably put that in the girls' bathroom. Just as is. With a little flower in it. Memphis, Tennessee. And then here's some just some cups that probably oh this one has birds. But I could definitely ooh, look how pretty this one is. I hope this one has a matching little vase. But yeah, I could definitely put some of these together for some mini little um watering thingamajiggies, whatever they're called. This one says a half a cup. 
So I did find out as well that there's going to be some garage sales this weekend. Actually, there's a whole um, subdivision garage sale, one of the subdivisions in town. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video here. And if I go garage sailing this weekend, which I mean, I probably will, like a subdivision garage sale, yes. Um, I'm going to do another video on that. So that's the plan. Because I feel like this video is already going to be like 20 to 30 minutes. Which is, that'll be good. Ooh. Made in Italy. This one's going to stay as is. So pretty. Ooh, what else is in here? Oh, this one's so cute. That's adorable. I definitely want to put some of these in the girls' bathroom. I need to get those shelves up so I can decorate them. Like, I, I already commissioned. Oh, this is it. I like this one as is. That's cute. I already commissioned, like, a little painting <laughs> to put on the shelves. And I don't even have the shelves up. So, it just requires me to make a trip to Home Depot which is out of town, so, you know, I don't want to do it. Oh. And then this week, I was supposed to be working in this room. This is my outside kitchen. Painting the cabinets. And, like, I don't know what happened to the week. Like, I had no plans at all except to work. And then all of a sudden, this week just went totally sideways. And I just haven't been home. I've been so busy. Oh, this one's broken. Oh, and it was really pretty too. That one's like, well, oh wait, the thing inside of it's broken, not this part. Okay, that's good. I don't know what this thing was. That's trash. Let me put that in that thing so I can throw it away. Um, yeah, so this week just, it just wanted, one of those weeks where you think you're going to get a lot done and then nothing gets done. But I did go thrifting and I did film a video, two videos. <laughs> so my cabinets are halfway painted. I have to get them done though because they're the bottom cabinets. And if the baby comes in here, she's just going to start pulling everything out of the cabinets. Okay, I don't know if I'm interested in this stuff. That's some old cologne bottles. Some little ladybugs. All right, I hope my customers are into miniatures because um, I'm going to have a lot of these. This is some handmade pottery. This is pretty. This is Good Earth Family. I don't know. Somebody handmade this. You can definitely tell. I took a ceramics class. Oh, brass. Cute. I did take several ceramics classes in college. I was an art major. <gasps> this one's pretty. So pretty. Yay. Excited to find. Oh, pewter. Look at this one. So cute. Some of them have notes. But I'm not sure if it goes with that. All right. We're going to open a few more, and that's it. That's it. This is fun, though. Ooh, this one's pretty. I like the shape on this one. Oh, that would be so pretty. What a cute little flower. Cute. like the shape on this one as well. Not so much the print going on, but that's okay. We know how to fix that, right? Oh, I love the shape on this one. This one was for vinegar. This is cute. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I might like make collections of threes and put them together to sell, like paint them all the same color. This is definitely Avon. Avon bath bubble. I don't know about that. I do like vintage Avon, but I like the figurines. This one's cute as is. It's glass. It's pretty. That was probably for all of it. Um, I mean, oil as well. This looks... Ah. I almost sniffed it and I'm like, no, no, we're not going to do that on camera. <laughs> oh, this one's a perfect color. Look how cute this one is. 
they all have little notes in them. I wonder, it says Mark Landry, 1978. I wonder if like people bought this stuff for her. And then she kept like a little note of who bought it for her. That's really sweet. Oh, Y'all. Okay, this is for sure going in the girls' bathroom. I have another picture, almost this exact same color that I've been keeping to put in their bathroom. Oh, look, this, oh, it's a candle. Hmm, I don't know about that. Okay, for real, just two more, just two more. This one has a note too. This was from Sarah in 1977. This is pretty. This is so fun. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to keep going. Since I'm not going to film garage sale this weekend, if y'all don't like this, y'all have a good day. Um, I'm so glad y'all stopped to watch. But my people, like, I feel like y'all going to want to know what's, what's the rest of the stuff in here. So if you want to keep watching, keep watching. If not, it's fine. I won't be offended. Because this is fun. Like, I need to know. I need to know. So this was from, I can't read the name, but it's a cute little cup. Oh, I have got to go eat some after this. And then my sister just called me and asked if she could drop off my nephew, who was two months old, so they could go run errands. So I'm like, sure, of course. But I can't work with a two month old. He might be sleeping, so maybe I can paint my cabinets. But I definitely got to go get some to eat. Okay, these are getting less cute as we get to the bottom. This is a cow creamer. I already know. Cow creamer. Tomorrow. I'm running out of space on the ground. So I don't know why I never, if you watch my old haul videos, I always stood up doing them. It is so much easier to sit on the ground and do these videos. Okay, this is a creamer. This is from Aura. This is from Aura. All right, I don't want creamers. I want cute little pots. Oops. You're not breaking up in. This is just another little creamer. Ooh, this one's so pretty. Tarnished silver. Cute little floral print. I like this. All right, here's some little um, plates that I could put with some of the other stuff. Of Improved Dinner Whale by Anchor Hawking. I don't know. I'm not big on vintage pottery, so I don't know. Some little tchotchkes. Somebody just brought me um, a tchotchke holder. One of my customers that came pick up some stuff. It's like, somebody gave me this tchotchke holder. You want it? That's what I call it. She didn't know what the hell I was talking about. But around here, uh, tchotchkes is like, you know, those little like figurines and whistle for your milk. Should I see if it whistles? I am not giving this to my kids. <laughs> I can't believe I just put my mouth on that. That's all right. These are probably packed up before the Rona. So here's a cute pink one. I think I'm all right. Let's see. This feels like a spoon. Is it like a spoon rest? No. Okay, it's a little plate, and I don't know what this is. A wise man, possibly. Oh, I hear my dad. He stopped at my house to uh, take the boat and go fishing. Hopefully he doesn't walk in while I'm filming. He must be back. I wonder if he caught some fish. Oh, this is like super heavy. Oh, this is a haul, a vintage haul. It is like insanely heavy for such a small piece. Did 
this. No markings on it. Don't know. I'm running out of space. This is cute. Got a little house on it. I like the shape on this. Another little pot. All right, some of this stuff is boring now. Where's the fun stuff? It all feels like cooked. I'm trying to feel and see what it is. Another creamer. How much coffee did this woman drink? A rooster creamer. This does not look old at all. But let's see who gave it to her and when. This is from Gladys, 1971. Gladys gave her this in 1971. This one's cute. It got some little leaves on it. Looks a little more like Asian style. All right, so we're getting to the end. What y'all think? Ten dollars is good on this. I mean, I'd totally make my money back, but these little things are gonna be a lot of work. Okay, this one's broken. Is it? Yeah, it is. Cause we got a piece in it. Um, but this was fun. It was fun unboxing and seeing what's in here, right? That. Cup. Oh my God, now I'm gonna deal with all this stuff. That's why I was second, I was thinking about it for a second if I wanted to take it because now I gotta deal with all this. Ooh, this one's cute. I like the color on it and has like some cherry blossoms or something I think it's called. That's cute. All right, last one, it's the last one. Creamer. I liked these little things. These are cute. And then I have tons of stuff where I can make little sets. All right, that is it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you love this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do lots of DIYs, lots of thrift hauls, lots of thrift store shopping, just all kind of fun stuff. So y'all subscribe, make sure you like, make sure you comment and let me know what was your favorite thing about today and if this, $10 thing was a good deal. <laughs> and hopefully I'll be back soon with another thrift haul if there's lots of garage sailing this weekend. So y'all have a great day and I will see y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching and give this video a big